Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and this uh, section is uh, section 7.6 in the book I'm following, Renaming Fractions and Mixed Numbers. Okay, so uh, it'll be helpful, you guys, to recognize that things over themselves, like 3 over 3, or 7 over 7, or 5 over 5, or any number over itself equals 1. We're going to be using this principle a lot in this lesson, okay? So our common core standards is here. We're going to uh, continue to use our prior knowledge of operations on whole numbers to build fractions from unit fractions and so how can we uh, rename mixed numbers as fractions that are greater than one and rename fractions that are greater than one as mixed numbers okay so we're gonna, let's do some prior knowledge here Alex said he ate five-thirds of a sandwich do you find it easy to understand how much of a sandwich Alex ate when it's represented as five-thirds well, what if I told you this you guys five-thirds equals one and two-thirds uh, which is easier to, to understand, five-thirds of a sandwich or one and two-thirds of a sandwich? And so explain. Well, probably, you're going to probably say that uh, one and two-thirds of a sandwich is easier because uh, you can see that it's uh, he ate more than one sandwich and less than two sandwiches right there. So so here's it's just a little bit over one, and but it's under two sandwiches. So somewhere between one and two sandwiches, okay? One and two-thirds is called a mixed number because it has this whole number here, this one, and a fraction with it. So it's a mixed number. So you can write a mixed number as a fraction. Here, uh, one and two-thirds is equal to five-thirds. And we'll talk how we get from here to here, and we'll talk how we get from five-thirds to one and two-thirds uh, later on in this lesson. Okay, uh, let's try a problem. Mr. Martin has two, th two and two-thirds, I'm sorry, he has two and three six apple pies. Each pie was then cut into one sixth size pieces. Uh, if he has 14 people over for dinner, is there going to be enough pie for each person to have one slice? Okay, so I'm going to find out how many uh, one sixth size pieces are in two and three six. So we're going to write two and three six as a fraction. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get pull out some fraction bars. Here's fraction bars of one. And I pulled out three of them, you guys, because um, uh, it's 2 and 3, 6, so I know it's over 2, but less than 3. Then I'm going to slice these fraction bars up into 6. Now this one, I'm not going to slice the whole thing up. In fact, uh, 3 over 6 equals half of that fraction bar right there. So there they all are separated up into 6. So here's 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6, okay? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here's 12, 6. 13, 14, 15. So there's 15, 6, 1, 6 size pieces in there. There's 15, 6 size pieces in there. So is, is Mr. Martin going to have enough? Well, yes, he has 15 slices, so Mr. Martin will have one piece left over for later on snacking. Yum, yum. Okay, another way you can do it is, is to cut these pies up over here into six size pieces right here. There's six here, here's six more is 12, and then three more here is 15. So there's 15 six size pieces, or 15 six right there. Okay, here's another way. You can represent, uh, here's my two, uh, one, two, and then here's my one, six, two, six, three, six. So here's my two and three, six right there. So one plus one plus three, six is two and three, six. You guys with me on that? Okay, then I'm going to cut those up into six right here. So here, this is this is six over six. Here's another six six right here plus this one six right here. So you can represent that as six six plus six six plus uh, I'm sorry, it's said one six. It's three six right there. Okay, remember six six is this one right here. This six six is this one right here. Okay, all right. So uh, two and three six equals fifteen six. All right, so uh, there's going to be 15 sixth size pieces in 2 and 3 six. Okay, so here's my 15 six. Okay, all right, so here it is in words right here, and this is that as a fraction right there. It's kind of a tongue twister, 15 sixths. Okay, so there's enough uh, pieces of pie to cover the 14 people that each have one piece, okay? So explain how you can write one and one-fourth as a fraction without using a model. Okay, I'm going to use my one trick right here, and since we're dealing with four sizes, I'm going to change this one to four-fourths right here, okay? So this one and one-fourth is the same as one plus one-fourth, and this one is now four-fourths. So it's four-fourths plus one-fourth, and then four plus one is five-fourths. Remember, you keep the denominators the same common denominators, okay? All right, so do that with this one. Write three and one-seventh as a fraction without using a model, okay? Well, since I'm dealing with uh, seventh size pieces, then I'm going to change uh, this three to one plus one plus one, but it's going to be uh, seven over seven plus seven over seven plus seven over seven. 
Okay, so three and one seventh, there's my three ones and one seventh, and then so seven over seven, seven over seven, seven over seven, that's all these ones. So if I count this up, seven plus seven is 14, plus seven is 21, plus one more is 22, 22 all over seven, so 22 sevenths right there. Okay, all right, so, and can you see, here's a shortcut right here, seven times three is 21, plus one is 22. You multiply this times this plus this, okay? You'll see this later on in some lessons that I have, okay? All right, so uh, uh, we're going to write a fraction greater than 1 uh, as a mixed number. So so to make head uh, a headband, Lisa needs seven pieces of fabric that must be one-third of a yard long. So how much fabric should she buy to make the headband, okay? So she's going to have seven pieces, and they're each going to be a third of a yard long. She's going to have seven-thirds of fabric right here. So we're going to write seven-thirds as a mixed number, okay? So uh, this is another way you can think of um, uh, a number line right here. Here we start at zero and you just start counting even spaces by thirds. One-third, two-third, here's three-thirds, four-thirds, five-thirds, six-thirds, seven-thirds, okay? So um, uh, so uh, seven-thirds is equal to one-third plus one-third plus one-third seven times, okay? Uh, and then what you can do is you can now find out how many holes are in seven-thirds. Remember, three-thirds is a hole. Okay, so how many thirds are left over? Okay, so right here, here is uh, three-thirds right here when I go um, uh, right, right there. There's three-thirds right there. One-third, two-thirds, three-thirds right there. Okay, so there's, there's three-thirds. Here's three-thirds right here. Those equal one. So here's one plus one plus one-third. What's that going to give us right there? Okay, so it's going to give us um, uh, two and one-third. Okay, all right. So uh, seven-thirds equals uh, three-thirds plus three-thirds plus one-third. So one plus one plus one-third is two and one-third right there. Okay, and we can check. Three times two is six plus one is seven. So it equals seven-thirds right there. Okay, so... Uh, Lisa will use two and one-third yards of fabric, okay? All right, so uh, write the unknown number. So we're going to uh, show some more knowledge here. Uh, and write your mixed known numbers above the number line and fractions that are greater than one below the number line. Well, let's take a look at this number line. Let's look at um, uh, below first, okay? It goes from 6-6, six, six, there's a blank here, to 8-6. There's a blank here, to 10-6. So it looks like I'm adding 1 sixth every time. So this is 6-6. Six, six. This should be 7-6 right there, okay? And then uh, plus 1 six is 8-6. Six. Plus 1 six, this will be 9-6 right there, okay? All right, and then plus 1 six gives me 10-6, so this will be 11-6. This will be 12 6. Notice 12 6 just represents 2. 11 6 is this 1 and 5 6 right there. Okay, so this will be um, 11 6, 12 6, 13 6. This will be 14 6, 15 6, 16 6, and so on right there. Okay, so there's those guys right there. Okay, let's go to the top right here. Okay, so 1 is this 6 6 right here. Uh, 7 6 is 1 and 1 6 right here. 8 6, well, look how this is jumping. This is 1 and 1 6. This is blank. This is 1 and 3 6. This is blank. This is 1 and 5 6. So can you see they're jumping by 1 6 on top here? So 1 and 1 6 plus 1 6 is going to be 1 and 2 6 right there. Okay? This is 1 and 3 6. I just add a 6, so add a 6 again. So this is going to be 1 and 4 6. Okay? 1 and 5 6. Here's 1 and 6 6. Well, 6 6 is 1, so this is 1 and 1 or 2. Okay? So here's 1 and uh, 6 6. So here's 2 and 1, 6. So this must be 2 and 2, 6. 2 and 3, 6. This must be 2 and 4, 6 right there. Okay? You see how they're jumping right here? And 2 and 4, 6 is the same as 16, 6 right there. Remember, this is 6 over 6 plus 6 over 6 because it's 2. Plus 4 over 6 would get me 16 over 6. Okay? So all these numbers on top are the same as all these numbers on bottom. These are the mixed numbers. These are uh, the numbers, the fractions that are greater than 1 below that. These are actually called improper fractions. We'll probably discuss that in later lessons. Okay, then we're going to wrap it up. Write the, uh, the mixed numbers as a fraction, and below we're going to write these fractions as a mixed number. Okay, so here, this 1, since we're dealing with third size pieces, I'm going to replace this 1 with 3 thirds. Over here, this is uh, fifth size pieces, so I'm going to replace this 2 with 5 fifths plus 5 fifths. Okay? 
Here's my 1 plus 1, so that's this 2 right here. Notice I change that to red, so it would represent this red stuff right here. Okay, here's this 1. This 1 is 3 over 3, okay? So uh, 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3 is 5 over 3. 5 over 5 plus 5 over 5 is 10 over 5, plus 3 more over 5 is 13 over 5. So here they are written as a, a fraction that's greater than 1. Okay, now we're going to represent these guys as a mixed number. Okay? I'm dealing with six size pieces, so I'm going to represent this as six over six plus how many more over six? I think it's going to get me five over six, okay? Yeah, so here's this is going to be my one right here, one and five six. Over here, I can get a couple of four over fours. Four over fours, and then plus four over four is eight over four, and then I can do one more. So this is one plus one plus one fourth right there, okay? So I get uh, over here, I get 1 plus 5, 6 is 1 and 5, 6. Over here, I get 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 and 1 fourth. Okay, guys? All right, take care, you guys.